Hello and welcome back to Later Alligator. And we are going to read what Pat is trying to say to us. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Yeah, I know who, I know who you are. Don't, don't worry, I remember you. Hello, Pat. It's almost 10. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Oh no, who? I'll teach them a lesson. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. <gasps> That's very threatening and suspicious behavior. But that could mean anything. Okay, very excited. One free tomato soup, best in Alligator, New York City. Okay, so that, that's basically a death threat. I, I, I understand. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. Don't worry, I'll rescue you from your dangerous coupons. Why are we walking and looking at our feet? They're very thick. Who's been threatening you? Tell me everything. Ah, don't bop me! Bop you? I don't know. Oh, oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the, raft from the rafters to take me out. I, I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? No, I don't think we did. You know, d dare, dude, assassins really exist? I'm not sure that's the right words. At, at least I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. <laughs> oh god, Pat, I feel sorry for you. Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Yes, I found out, well, a little bit at least. Nothing concrete yet. Well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the rail, off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here ma mainlining, mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. Maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. Okay. And and let's logie with Brad. Let, let's go. Show me your hotel room. You should probably stay there. You can lock yourself in it or something. And feel safe. Find the code to Pat's abode. My safe place. Okay, it's a minigame. Help Pat back into his hotel room. Help Pat with his outdated website. Help Pat remember his room code. His website? Okay. Why do we have a website? Oh, God, Pat, I, I want to hug him so bad. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Why? Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Oh yeah, there are little little alligators in the flowers. It's a kind of weird wallpaper. <laughs> what am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal beans on? I don't even know what you supposedly talked about that could get you in trouble. I think you would know if you did this thing. Cheese and crackers. The way he's walking is so adorable. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Okay. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. So you are brave enough to go to the hardware store, but are scared of anything else. I got it. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved on my website www.alligator.fun. Mm -hmm. I even made a button you can click for it. Okay. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh god. Ah, oh, this hurts so much, but it's so true. Cause like all the all the self homemade websites in the early two thousands looked like this. It's so true. Like the the weird the weird gifs and like the the backgrounds, the not working PNGs, even the font. Oh my god, it's so well made. Like it's not well made, but it's well replicated of how the websites used to look. I think there's even some around still that kind of look like this. This is Pat's homepage, generated by Geoscalies. Okay. Can you click on anything? Got a earth, whatever the hell this abomination is. Warning, 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 another not working PNG. Sorry, under construction. Cutie life is a beach. Some kind of very random time thingy. Whatever that means. Okay, what's the about? Oh, oh my god, it got worse. Oh, my eyes. Oh my god, my eyes. Why, pad? Why the colors? Why the the word art headline? Why the background? Ah. About me, I'm Pad, yeah. Oh god. Pad, don't use all the effects at once. Ah, oh, it hurts so much. If you're not Pad, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police, okay. Uh, everything is better than looking at the backgrounds for a second longer. I guess that's the code. 91619. I gotta remember that. 91619. God, get me out of here. Ugh. Ah, what nice, calming gray backgrounds. Gee, I'm really glad now I took those oddly specific button making classes at my local community center. You should have taken more website building classes and background picking classes than just button making, but you do you. Still traumatized from looking at that website. Okay, here we are. Pad, what did you do to your door? How even? He, he said he went to the hardware store and got a lock. It's like a whole vault door. How did you manage to to build this? I'm okay. I won't ask any more questions. It's fine. Just yeah. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Very unobtrusive. Totally n not barely noticeable even. No one will know that's your room. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? Don't worry, already did that. I don't have to look at it again. Yes, I, I, I know the HTML. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. I got, I got some in my briefcase, if you want any. Okay, there's 91619, I think. You did it! Thank you so much! You're welcome. <laughs> um, it's eating through the pad, what did you do? Ah! I, I can't close it, what's going on? Pat, what happened? Help, you gotta help me! I don't even like pink! Um, just a code again? What happened in there? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god, it was he. Tim. Hello, my word. I would do a British accent if I could. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? 
And why have you opened my door? Uh, who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to wrap me out. But this is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. Okay, this is apparently a common occurrence in Alligator New York City. But, but if that's true and my password still worked... Is your lock code 91619? Oh my god, they, they, sh they share two brain cells between each other. Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us! Yay, I guess. Ha 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 so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone that you've seen what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you. Endlessly. Okay. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? Yes, definitely. What's your door then? Wait. I didn't click, I couldn't read what you said, sorry. You can rewind and pause, probably I can't. I don't know why it kept going without me clicking. Don't tell me that's your door. This is my actual room. How did you even confuse the two? You have eyes. I mean, the, the, the numpad is there, which is kind of a similarity, but the rest? How? Pat! They're so similar! No wonder I mixed them up! Yes, very similar. Totally. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Because I'm not able to look at your own website, apparently. Come on in. Yay, we won! I don't even know if we could have failed. I guess I could have put in the wrong code. Not sure what, 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 what would have happened. <laughs> oh my god, he got lots of t-shirts, these like wolf thingies and planets. That are like kind of the meme and stuff. Phew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4pm so you don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Okay. Ah, oh, now we got his badge. Okay. I'm gonna wait to collect a few more before I go back to his mom, though. I don't know if that takes up any time. Bye for now. Okay, Pat. See you. Stay safe in your room. Ah, it's our unknown friend again. Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? Yes, I have. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Okay. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a small blanket or a family of chili squirrels. The world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. Okay, will do. Like in the chandelier, for example. Or at the table where Pat was sitting. Can't scroll around here. Who is this? 
You look kind of familiar and I won't say why. <laughs> Charlene. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. Never did that. Maybe I should have tried. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene, sharing a meal with just me, myself and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. You're not really taking the hint, huh? Yes, I am. I just want to annoy you. Hmm. Okay. Do you have anything more to say, bub? My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. Yeah, you look a little nervous, but also very adorable. I think he's one of my favorites so far. Just with, with the eyes and stuff. His very boopable snoot. Okay, so we covered everyone around here, so I think we can take the trolley. Ooh. Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibbly Finn. Okay. Fun facts. Booming bug economy. See the alligator New York City alligator opera. Presents alligator Pagliacci. Free hot dogs on Fridays. Ooh, I hope it's Friday. Map of alligator New York City. We can go alligator memorial park unsavory part of town fun district or downtown mm. I'd say we check out the unsavory part of town first so we got that behind us of course curious oh that's adorable they all have such character. Hey buddy, you're a good old guy here. I just wanted to warn you, in a city so big there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy though, guys. I'm talking seedy though, guys? A se seedy tough guys, oh, yeah should be able to read. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out onto a napkin politely. <gasps> That's the worst kind of people. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. Well, you know I'm gonna do just that. Found a puzzle piece, for example. Okay, I can go into the dark alley. Can't scroll and talk to these guys. I can click on this. Okay, that's adorable. I don't know why it exists, but it's adorable. Uh, I guess very adult bar. Okay, we can go in through the bar too. There's a lot of people to talk to. What's with you, Prince Valentino? Oh, royalty, I see, I see. I say you there, vagrant. Princess Valentino. Uh, brother, I don't think they're a vagrant. They've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king? Ha, huh, you may be right, sister. You there, hobo king, come here a moment. Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside this seedy watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister, but you know as well as I that we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was not out. Besides, you know how very I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to this stranger with the briefcase, then? Yes, yes, as long as it's not someone that gives me the dreadful horror of being known. No, I've, don't worry, I have no idea who you are. And you have very pointy chins. 
tell me about yourself. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style they've spent the last 30 or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. Don't be rude. And there are other fingers in their eyes. Ouch. And fingers, yet still in their nose. How many hands do you think I have? Obviously, since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene and you know it, Prince. Okay, I really don't like you. Do you happen to know Pat? Probably not. Oh, Pat, why, he's our second cousin. Poor Pat having these as relatives. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from our gene pool. Yeah, thankfully for Pad. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side. Much like your personality, sister. Oh ho ho, Prince! You're such a cut up! Much like how I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? But the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. And you know Mittens the third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. Mm hmm? Well now, you're going to have to be more specific. I attend a lot of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. If you are speaking of last week when I was walked the runway for Gil's fashion fishery rubber pants for moist alligators. <laughs> Why did they have to say moist? I'll have you know I got a write up in a magazine spread for highlights for children. Ew! Shame on you! Anyway, if you're talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if only you do us the smallest of favors. I do I even want to know. I guess I do. I'll do it for Pad, but only for Pad. You see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. Uh-huh. You know the natural way. We are very natural, I bet. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could re really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true, I punch super duper hard. If only we had some helping dividing up her daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So, will you help us, or do you have hobo king duties to attend to? I'm only doing this for Pat, otherwise I would just flip you the bird and leave, probably. Split the perks between these jerks, yes. Divine twin inheritance. Let's play. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indicator bar. I don't know if they even can be happy. They probably won't both have, both want everything. Well, let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. I'm already bored. Okay, we have Valentino's inheritance. A mink stole armor, hat, wine, vinyl, photo, painting, 
a sack of cash, a burn of ashes, crystal orb, a parrot, a sports car, and the blade. Not a blade, but the blade. Okay. And I would say the stole goes to her. I simply couldn't. My conscience wouldn't allow it. It clashes terribly with everything I own, and I'd be up all night worrying about it. Okay, guess he gets it then. Oh, cozy. Just the kind of thing I like. Warm and made through the suffering of another. Oh god, there's such nice people. Uh, let's see if she gets the armor then. This would be smashing with great grandmother's claymore. <laughs> Literally. Okay, she's happy with that. Uh, hat for him going with a stole. Rather gauche, don't you think? Eyeballs are so last season. Which is why I'm having mine removed next month. Okay. Guess she gets it then. Father's secret society hat. I'd wondered if it had been lost after the SWAT raids. Mm -hmm. Wine. Does he get the wine? Yes. A fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable member of society. So never, basically. Good thing he died and I can just take it. Vinyl to him. These seem rather large for my multiple Blu-ray players. Yes, I have more than one. I have two eyes, don't I? So I guess he doesn't want them? But his bar went up, didn't it? I'm a little confused about these. Uh, what kind of photo are we talking about? No, she doesn't like it. A signed photo of the president? To be right straight with you, I didn't vote for him. Or that gold chain. Okay, photo is his. Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. <laughs> None of them wants it, really. Painting her? Yes. This will look great, placed it delicately behind me for my upcoming photo on the cover of Vanity Flare, fashion magazine on for mean lady alligators. I can't really judge because I can't can barely see it. Sack of cash to him? Yes. Ah, father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. It reminds me so much of him. Cold, hard and beneath my flippers. Guess no one not you want the urn. She does. I hear ashes are replacing charcoal as the new go-to face mask for keeping scales glossy. Ew! Ew! Don't smear your father's ashes on your face! Ew! Not even for beauty reasons or anything! You're disgusting! Ew, that's so unsanitary. That's... Ah, I don't even want to think about it. He gets a crystal orb. Mother's rather into these types of things as well. You might say ironic mysticism runs in the family. Like bloodlust or beautiful knees. Huh? She gets the parrot so she has someone to talk to. Bernard! I spent hours training him to eat $50 bills in front of our governess as she cried. You're so horrible. Sweet childhood memories. I mean, I, I love how overdone they are. It's, it's really funny. I couldn't have come up with that stuff myself. Well, he gets the sports car, I bet. He doesn't want the sports car, okay. Pass, I'm already the fastest guy in ANYC. If you check my online dating profile reviews. Uh, so she gets it? 
Well, my several phones could use a car. Car for your phones. So what's the blade? It looks like someone's taking a bite out of it. I remember how Mumsy and Daddy would let us swing this around in the front yard whenever we'd get solicitors. Those were happy times. Okay, so she gets the blade going with the armor. Great grandmother's claimer's rightful place is with me in my penthouse. Or possibly in my ex boyfriend Blake, the house music DJ. I'll remember that for the police. So you get the vinyls too? No. These are most decompilations of Halloween sound effects and screams. So, yes, please give this to me. Hmm. So, you want the painting then? Yeah, he wants the painting. Ah, good. Huh, this would be more of a masterpiece if it depicted something important. Like me. Or perhaps me. As long as you're happy. And I can leave. Family member badge. Family member badge. That's all of daddy's things and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well, why I'm in such a good mood, I'm almost feeling feelings again. Oh no, don't let that happen. Seriously, brother? How pedestrian. Pedestrian? I know, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes. And tell you what you want to know about the event. But we won't. Your reward is our smiling snoots. Now get out of our car before we ring the police. Oh ho 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 God, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I mean, I should have known they won't help me, but well. And I should have known that I won't make the episode 20 minutes. Guess 30 minutes it is then, because I'm always doing it too long. The game is just so much fun and there's so much to read and to do. Like, I just get carried away. So, <laughs> anyways, end of this episode. Thanks again very much for watching. See you next episode. Goodbye!